things to my Spartan dudes. That's okay. me. Um, so you're gonna the when this starts, you guys are gonna be going basically directly into battle. You will have uh the USNC already did um when they dropped you, they also dropped a couple pods that are full of ammo, uh supplies, everything you'll need on your drop site. User entered the uh channel. on your drop site you will uh you will land near a large uh looks to be a natural rock structure it is not a natural rock structure it is a uh covenant base and so inside that base uh is the controls for all of the planetary aa guns um we need you guys to get there to uh to basically clear out that that little base inside the rocks uh and go and deactivate all of the aa guns on the planet that way you can enable the USNC Marines that are currently staging in the Northeast to be able to hop in their Pelican and begin the assault. So um, we will probably be out of radio range. Uh, so if you guys just want to give me a give me a heads up uh, on uh, on chat or try to give me a long range if you can, I'll be on long range. Um, that uh, that you guys are uh, beginning your assault or or how things are going, um, and then. Basically, once we see the indications that the AA guns are down, we will be uh, uh, moving from our position via. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit of feedback from you, Grim. Um, from our position via Pelican insert uh, to attack a garrison base that's just to your north. Um, so once you guys do clear out that bunker, uh, deactivate the AA guns. Uh, the USNC is going to drop some warthogs. They will be uh, to the northwest. A couple hundred meters from you, you should see the parachutes open. Uh, they're not the best. Uh, it's not the best DZ for these, so um, they're giving you extra in case a couple get blown up on drop. Not that that happened in testing at all. Um, so feel free to uh, either move on foot or with those uh, those warthogs and come join us in our assault uh, just to the north. That, like I said, you, you'll see the base on map, um, and that's where we'll link up from there. Once once we've uh, cleared out that garrison. Uh, then I will give you guys follow-on orders for how we're going to assault the uh, the next rail, like the, the big rail gun base. I'll have more information for the, the Marines um, when we're sitting around getting our stuff ready, but I just wanted to give you guys that first. Your mission, drop in, uh, clear out the Covenant um, hey. AIC2 uh, area. Uh, there's a console. Activate the console. Once you do that, uh, we will start moving basically right away uh, to, to attack that garrison. Any questions on that, guys? Sounds good. I have a long range on my loadout. We're like on opposite corners of the map, so it's a pretty big map. I'm not sure if we'll even be in range, but I'll, I'm gonna load that up once. Uh, once I, once we load in, um, I'm gonna hop on the long range. It'll be Freak 30 for the long range. Okay. And so, uh, if you just want to give me try to make contact once you guys get suited up, uh, we'll see if we can even hear each other. Copy that. Cool. Unless there's any other questions, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button. Game's crashed. User Damn. entered your channel. Did it really? I've got a black screen, I can't interact with anything. Should be downloading the mission file. That might be you, Chief. Yeah, it's downloading now. Uh, I, I thought I crashed uh, for a minute there. Three there. Yeah, I'm good. Second. I was like, uh, my game stopped? Yeah, that's weird. Operation Underwood? Are we going to be seeing Carrie today? Do -do 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 I'll be here all day, all day, guys. Do, 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 do. Yeah, my arm is not responsive. <laughs> it's about location, location, location. <laughs> Ready, drop. Oh boy, okay, there's a map. Where's the scale? Oh, jeez. Holy crap. May have to reload my armor. That's a big map. That map's sick. Is this the Highlands or which one is this? So looks like winter map. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this is the Halo one. Yeah. Uh, so where? Crashed. I'm gonna have to reload. Where are Spartans dropping? 
somewhere. Probably near the air defense. Also, photo some hot mic, but doesn't say anything. Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to talk the whole time. Okay, no yeah, worries. Yeah. What's going on? Okay, I was like, why is everyone talking over me? This is rude. Okay, so um, go ahead and restart if you need to. Uh, we'll I'll do a little bit of the brief here while we're while we're waiting for you. Okay, Chewy. I think he's left. Yeah, I'm just loaded oh. now. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, let me know when you're back in, and I will restart the mission just to make sure it doesn't have any because because it runs scripts on you guys right when it starts. And I don't want it to be all screwed up. Okay, sure. so um. I'm gonna give the the main brief then, since we got a moment here. Uh, so we're here at Errant Five. It's a, a moon, a moon on an outer planet in the same system as Sephora, which is a large Covenant-held planet that the USNC is planning an operation against. Um, here on Errant Five, the only reason why we care about this cold rock is because there is a large uh, gauze cannon slash railgun, whatever you want to call it. Um, that is planted on this uh, moon and because of the way the moon is tightly locked it looks inwards towards the center of the solar system uh, during its whole orbit so there's no way to move on Sephora without coming underneath the this gun so uh, USNC needs us to come to this moon and uh, and clear out the covenant at that rail gun and either destroy or disable it so that is the main goal of this operation if we do that we're successful uh, we have some enabling goals that will allow us to. Uh, oh, I, I see what's going on there. I was like, I just saw the hat pop in. I'm like, what is. Oh. Okay. Um, so the. Uh, we have a small, uh, a small landing site that we've set up in the northeast. I don't know if you guys can see my uh, cursor. Um, in the very northeast of the map, uh, that just is very, very sparse. It has uh, some drop pods for, uh, for ammo and gear. Uh, and we've put in a couple vehicles into that uh, AO. But aside from that, that's uh, it's a very small staging area. Um, it's right next to a small neutralized base that you guys will see when we when we land there. Our Spartan team, to codename Talent, will be landing near the air defense C2. They've been uh, dropped from orbit. Um, specifically, they'll be landing to the southeast in some uh, some more of the. Uh, I guess less treed areas it's not not a forest down there um you should have a, a little bit of natural cover because the uh air defense c2 is inside what looks to be a large natural stone uh sort of column structure uh you'll be landing on the back side of that the entrance is actually on the northwest side so since you're landing on the back side you should have a little bit of uh, cover but be advised the covenant is pretty actively patrolling in the area they know that we're coming towards the system and so uh they they probably know that an assault is somewhat imminent so uh, once you guys are on the ground you will have the ability to uh, get kitted up uh, we dropped a couple of arsenal drop pods uh, there on your DZ um, and just as a housekeeping note you will also get a respawn in that same area once you're on the ground as well once you guys are prepared um, I want to uh, once you guys are kitted up I want you to give me a radio call on freak 30 let me know you're about to begin your assault um, and then it's up to you how you want to uh, assault the air defense C2 structure. Uh, there will be some guards, both internal and external. Um, and be advised, we did see at least one turret uh, somewhere near the front of that. So uh, be careful as you round that uh, to keep eyes on that turret. Um, it is base it's your basic uh, mixture of Covenant all across the planet. Uh, you've got some of your grunts, jackals, a few elites. Um, no word yet if there's uh, anything bigger than that, hunters or anything like that. Should be uh, mostly ground forces. No, we haven't seen... Uh, Gary, I'm getting a bunch of uh, feedback from you. Sorry. Um, uh, we have not seen uh, much uh, of ground vehicles or, and basically no air flying around. Anything that's uh, in, in orbit, we've already cleared out uh, on our way in. So basically it should just be uh ground forces and uh, we should have the full initiative here once you've cleared out that air defense c2 i want you to then move to the north north uh west uh towards the garrison uh, we will establish radio contact when we get on the ground there uh, you will have uh at least at least two warthogs if not three depending on how the drop goes um to enable you to move up and feel free to use the weapons and everything on those uh, as you see fit um once you once you uh, meet us at the garrison, you will then nest in with the rest of our uh, this assault that I'm about to outline. So that's for my Spartan team talent. Uh, for the rest of us, for Alpha Company, uh, squad 
one, I think is, is all we've really managed to fill up. Um, we are currently sitting at the landing site. Uh, we will uh, we will be getting ourselves prepared there. Um, you know, answer, I'll be answering any questions, anything like that, while our Spartans uh, make their assault on the air defense C2. Um, once they do that, uh, we have a Pelican uh, standing ready to take off and insert us just to the east side of this garrison. So this is uh, uh, the second largest garrison here on the planet. Um, it's important for us to take this garrison out because uh, Intel shows that if we try to assault the railgun, the garrison uh, will be able to cut us off uh, and pour troops out in the field against us. We don't want that. So we're going to go um, and clear out all the enemies in this garrison. It looks to be the same sort of mixture of uh, Covenant uh, that I just mentioned before. Um, upwards of 60 to 80 uh, in, in there, though. So we're going to have to be smart with uh, how we move and be very careful uh, with how we uh, how we insert here. So the Pelican will drop us off to the east side. We expect that the Covenant will know the jig is up the moment that uh, the assault begins on the air defense C2. So expect them to be alerted uh, there in the garrison. The garrison is roughly broken up into two halves. There's a north garrison and a south garrison. Um, depending upon how the timing works out with getting our talent folks there, a uh, plan is for the uh, Marines to take the north garrison. It's a little bit uh, more difficult to assault, uh, and that should enable better pathway for our uh, talent guys to attack the south. If talent is uh, late to getting there for whatever reason, um, then we will proceed to attack in the south, and we will then just uh, have them uh, nest in with us when we get there. Once we clear out the garrison, we'll take a moment to uh, to rearm, recover, and then um, we will move on to railgun control there in the far southwest. It is a two large two stage base. Um, there is a, uh, a stage on, or sorry, a, a part of the base on the west side uh, that is similar to that garrison will attack. It's a, it's a north and south split base with a large rocky outcropping uh, surrounding it. And then railgun control itself is uh, also surrounded by a separate uh, large rocky outcropping that's only accessible through the main gate from the uh, west side base or a much smaller funnel uh, from the east side. Uh, it is our goal, since we'll be landing uh, somewhere near the south with the Pelican, to a assault from the south, clearing out the westernmost base, and then moving internally to clear out the railgun control base uh, from the inside. If we try to assault through that funnel, it's probably going to be a bit of a massacre, so we're keeping that as an alternative COA if we have to. So basically, uh, we'll assault as a combined force. We'll move in on the... Uh, southern side uh, first, going through the large opening uh, in the rocks there. From there, we will then clear out the north side before proceeding onto railgun control. Once we get into railgun control and we've cleared it out, uh, our goal is to find some way to disable or destroy the railguns. We don't know how that's going to work yet. Hopefully, we want to climb up there and plant charges. Uh, we're hoping that we can just destroy the actual controls itself, and that might help out, but we'll find out when we actually get in there. Once we've cleared out that railgun control, uh, we should be good to bring in our um, bring in our our main uh, uh, sorry, hang on a second. Uh, we should bring so that we should be able to bring in our uh, our main cruiser that's uh, supporting the assault on Sephora, uh, which is Actium Remembered. Um, and that should be able to uh, then enter into the planetary atmosphere and help us uh, mop up the rest of these bases. Since there's no civilians and there's nothing, no infrastructure we care about, we'll basically just nuke them from orbit once we've cleared this railgun. Um, uh, a complicating factor is that there are a number of outposts scattered around the planet um, that have a small contingent of troops, uh, just like maybe 20, 25 troops per outpost. Um, but they are along our path between the garrison on the west side and the railgun control, uh, or sorry, our garrison on the east side and the railgun control in the um, west side. So if we have to, we will clear out uh, some or all of these outposts. That's uh, that's completely uh, up to us when we get on the ground. Um, I'll be the ground forces commander, so I'll make that call as we're, we're on the ground. Um, I'll tell you it on... In reality, that's just if we clear the garrison and the air defense C2 really fast, this is more stuff for us to destroy. If we don't clear it very fast, uh, then we'll just skip those and go right to railgun control. Um, for support, uh, frequency is going to be uh, going to be 50 for those of us uh, with the Marines. Um, I'll have my Spartans on 51 uh, short range um, until we sync up, and then you guys can keep 51, or we can all just go on the same frequency. We'll be operate together. It'll be about I think a total of 12 people, so I think we'll be fine 
to just operate on one. We don't have any air support uh, here, but we do have a uh, heli well, not helicopter, a pelican uh, will come and pick us up and drop us off as needed uh, along our quest here. The, like I said, the primary objective is destroying railgun control. As long as we do that, then we win. Um, we're trying to minimize our losses, but losses do happen. We should have a good uh, respawn at every point that we're assaulting. I try to make this as easy as possible. Um, aside from that, if uh, if I go down for the Marines, um, who was it that stepped into team lead? Is that Ghost? I would. Okay. Yes. So, so, uh, so Ghost will take over if I go down um, as uh, as ground force commander. Um, if we're synced up with talent, then uh, whoever the highest ranking talent is, which I think is Doreen, um, will take over, uh, and, and then it just sort of devolves from there as uh, things go on. Um, it's normal ace medical for our operations. It shouldn't be anything surprising there. And Spartans, do remember to turn on your. Uh, your armor as you're dropping otherwise you'll you'll land and not be able to do anything how did you do that it's a scroll wheel option gotcha yep okay um so i'm gonna actually back out to mission sorry you guys have to reslot and we're gonna lose all this beautiful art so make sure you take screenshots of it before uh before we do it well i i don't know i don't want to lose the art but i think we're gonna have to because i'm not sure if uh if it's gonna work for uh chewy when we land in there the great fall of alexandria yeah. So uh we're gonna we're gonna oh did you draw a wall around it? I was so confused. Anyway, so we're gonna back out. Okay, well I guess it just returned me to the lobby. Polly, are you gonna are you gonna slot? Uh I can't decide. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, wait a second. Fly the fly the space helicopter and do the pew pew. Nice. Dips. So we have to reslot again. No, I think I think since it just brought me back out to the roll assignment, as long as he's in there, it should be good. I just back out. Let me uh, yeah, back, go back in. Yeah, <laughs> let's make sure everyone's back back in the. I don't know how it goes from briefing to the next thing. If there's anything that had to init before that, so basically, Chewy, I need you to start screaming in chat if uh, if you're just like standing on the ground like an idiot. Okay. Screaming in chat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is everyone feeling good? Hi. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Yes. Yes, Sensei. Yeah, boy. Okay. Talent, good luck out there. Uh, you've got uh, about 20 enemies to take on by yourselves. Uh, I hope that you guys are successful in your mission, and uh, we'll contact you when you're on the ground. Spartans, what is your profession? <laughs> exactly that. Okay, wrong see you in there. War. Wrong era? <laughs> User left Error. your channel. Channel switch. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yep. Okay. Hello, hello. It's a little bit of lag up front. Way. Uh, ready to okay. check my mouth. User joined your channel. Task force radio deployed. User, user left your user channel. Your channel. User left your channel. User left your joined your channel. User left your channel. Okay, ready for deep boost. User joined your channel. <laughs> Good up, guys. Great. Great work. Did I break it? How did you guys? By the way, this? you broke it. Yeah. Uh, Me and Doreen eat. spawned on the ground. Not, not in the air. Well, oh. we, we we spawned. So we spawned on the ground after a few seconds. It then teleported us up to the oh. launch pods. Yeah, you will get teleported up. That's part of the the net running. Uh, also, Fod, could you quickly throw me into talent too? Because for some reason, I don't need move my myself. You know, you don't deserve it. Okay, try number two. What happened though? This went really well. Just play me. Thank there's you, a Fod, lot of units. It's, it's loading a lot of units in the beginning, and it's using dynamic simulation, so it has to load them, and then they have to go quiet. So just give it a moment when it starts. All right. Good luck. Sorry, we lost your beautiful pictures. I took screenshot Prime, of it, so... You are a much to him. <laughs> Same. Try number two. Oh, oh, try number, number two. two. So here's here's our uh, gear over here and our little outpost. User right, joined your channel. Those loadouts. Again, no task force radio deployed on server. I don't know if I want to use a 
shotgun just for fun, or? It's gonna be probably, I, I, there might be enough close range to make it worth it. No, oh, there's a lot of, I'll use, I'll use like a, there's a lot of ancient VR. weapons from the 2000s. Yeah, if you use ancient weapons, <laughs> you can just put a, a, from the old days. Upper, upper trebuchet. Hey, where's the Magnum? Where's the Magnum pistol? Oh, there's a gravity hammer in here. Mac. What that pack is that? Okay, looks like talent's on the ground. Sure, I have plenty of grenades. Plugs because I don't want to die. Oh, tenuous. Definitely make sure you have your plugs. Hey, are we allowed to switch gun? Uh, or no, no, right? You can switch gun, yeah. What's the long range on here? Is it? Oh, I see. Yeah, the A and TRC 521. Oh, heck yeah. Don't forget beverages. Why are you using hammer? <laughs> oh, the Waltex hammer. Having issues, I can't actually use my radio. Can I wear the fancy HUD glasses? I did get radios at some point, and I was able to load a radio. Yeah, no fancy HUD glasses. Sad. Spirit body. HUD body piece. Very capable. If you want to, it's your your game. Freedom. So is there, you, there is no respawn, right? There's respawn. Okay, got it. Now I can get the fancy heads up display. Oh, I, I see them kit. I'm watching the Spartans get totally kitted out. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. <laughs> the Phone of ray gun, nice. The heads up display is so cool. It's just like Halo, kind of. I did not expect T-Far to have so many issues. Wait a second, I think I might have screwed this up now I'm thinking about it. Is T-Far loaded on the server? T-Far might not be loaded on the server, might be why. Um, oh, wait a second, trying a shot. It's working like Don't it is. Scream. Please join the channel. Ow. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. What's that? Somebody shot. Everybody, make sure you got your plugs in. I haven't got any blood. Who shot? Whoa. Good old railgun. Railgun slap. Literally. Death and boy. Now you have someone testing your spanker. Test and someone you mean? I I grab ammo of all kinds. I have AP. I have HF. I've got high explosive. Yeah, I don't have a radio. Yeah, so I, get I one think that I forgot to load far in the in the mod list. So I might have to reset the server. I. Yeah, I can hear you, Paul. Just not a radio. Just real quick. Oh, okay. Thanks. Nobody's got a unique radio, so therefore we communicate with each other. Make uh, sure I save my kit before I leave. Yeah, me. Game, game. It's the ring. So we have to save? Oh, yeah. Fortunately. Well, you get Channel it. switched. User entered your channel.
User joined your channel. User joined your channel. Well, that went well. User joined left your channel. User joined your channel. A strong start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear.